All right, so I'm going to be going over my intake mod for my 2010 Yaris. <clears throat> this is the bottom half of the air box. And what I did was I just cut this huge hole right in the side of it. And this, this hole, I can faces the driver's side of the car. It goes right into the fender, right behind the headlight. So it's in the under the hood like this, and then over here, right here is the headlight and the fender. And then over here is the radiator, and the intake hose is right here and goes to the throttle body, then to the intake manifold, and then to the engine. So I blocked off the hole where this thing was. Now this was this was the intake for the airbox this restrictive thing. It's it's a big pipe there, but then it shrinks to this crude looking velocity stack. <laughs> it just shrinks drastically and then pulls the hot air straight from the radiator fan. But I'm getting rid of this. This is hideous. And I'm going to replace it with this. This is a piece of three inch PVC. I just got to cut it so it, yeah, there we go. It's got to be flush with this. I'm just going to cut all this extra off, and then this will slide right over it. But I got to cut it so it's even with this, and then cut a slit in it. That way, when I tighten the hose clamp, it can, like that, be nice and tight on there without any leaks. So I'll take the tape off and show how that all goes together. Okay, I have the tape removed, and this is how this goes together. Basically, there's a notch right there. Line that into that notch. Hard to do one-handed. Yeah, and just, it goes together just like that. And this is, this is what you'd see under the hood, just like that. It's just, it's restrictive. It gets super hot from the radiator. And intake temps are really high. There's an intake air temperature sensor um, just before the throttle body. And I've looked at my code reader going down the road and intake temps were through the roof. This, this hole right here, gave me a lot of mid to top end power and added a nice sound too. Um, I get all the benefits of the K&N Typhoon intake without spending $350. I can still use the factory um, filter and not them K&N filters that don't filter for crap. The K&N filters may look nice, but they don't filter very well. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to prep that and then get that on there. Alright, so I got this cut. Here's what I cut off. Don't need that. I cut it to fit in the boot over here using this Harbor Freight cutter thing. Uh, Battery operated Dremel with a cutoff wheel. I use the cutoff wheel to cut the slot in this so I have something to pinch. And I used, used some duct tape and made a little gasket for extra measure. I'm cheap. <laughs> this will just slide over like so. Put this down here. Spread the pipe up open just a little bit. It'll be a nice tight fit. Get it on there. Good. There we go. And this gap right here will allow it to clamp shut with the hose clamp and there won't be any leaks. Oh, let me get all the 
crud out of here. Hose clamp here. And this is just a, a small chunk of 3 inch PVC. And this is a 3 inch PVC rubber end cap. It's like 5 bucks at Home Depot or Lowe's. Just slide it on there. Like that. Kind of hard to do one handed. Nice tight fit. There we go. You just got to tighten it on. Pause it here. And there we go. That looks much better than a bunch of tape. Yeah, so if you have a 2010 Yaris and you don't have the money to buy a K&N Typhoon cold air intake, um, get yourself a spare air box and one of these, you know, you if you want to go back to stock, you know, you can, so just get an extra, get a spare. Don't modify your stock components, that way you can go back to stock if you want to. But that right there is a lot better on the highway, on hills. It's a must-have when you upgrade the throttle body to the 1ZZ. It allows for a lot more airflow right into the engine and cold air. Cold air detonates a lot better than hot air. There's more oxygen. It's more densely packed. So, I'm going to go install it in the car and... I'll resume once it's in there. Alright, so this is what it looks like under the hood. Don't look too bad. Looks a lot better than, you know, a bunch of tape. <laughs> that hole is right there. It pulls the cold air right out of the fender area. Right in there. And I've driven through lots of water. I live in Maine. Weather gets crazy, randomly. And a couple weeks ago, we had a tropical storm up here. I had to pull over because I couldn't see it was raining so hard. It was bone dry in there. Bone dry. I was afraid I was going to suck up some water, but nope. Nope. It's been a very reliable mod. So, save yourselves a few bucks and just, you know, spend a little bit of time and do this. Instead of, you know, getting the $350 K&N Typhoon intake and getting a filter that doesn't do anything. I gotta put the filter back in. <laughs> There we go. Well, I'll give it a start. It's not really loud. Uh, you start to hear the intake when you give it some gas and the engine works. Then it sounds like you've got an intake system. But no, this is all completely stock parts here. Just a little bit of modifications.
give it a couple grabs here. You can really hear it draw the air in. <laughs> 